media mogul Robert Johnson speaking out about President Trump's chances at re-election earlier today. The founder of BET and RLJ Companies spoke to our own Hadley Gamble. When you take a look at what President Trump has done in the last several months, particularly the conversations surrounding the U.S.-China trade spat, um, is this his to lose, do you think? I think it's... I think the president has always been in a position where it's his to lose based on he's bringing a sort of a disruptive force into what would be called political norms. I don't care whether it's his, his the way he conducts foreign policy, the way he takes on the, the, the government agencies and what he deals with immigration. He brings his style. Now, a lot of people, particularly those who voted for him and those who will vote for him again in the next election, like that style. I think what the uh, Democrats have to do is to be careful not to get caught up in stylistic Trump and more in substantive Trump. And Johnson said that President Trump's ability to dominate the news cycle puts him above the challengers. He said none of the Democratic candidates appear to be enough, quote, in the center where most voters are. Here's his take on newly announced candidate Michael Bloomberg. Mike is willing to spend a lot of money to... And he's going to have to. Yeah, to make the case for the voter. But more importantly than the money is his narrative as to exactly what he's going to do and how he introduces himself, particularly to the African-American community. I think he's got to address the stop and frisk issue that was under his leadership when he was mayor of New York City. And I think he's got to let the African-American community knows that he identifies with their issues, something that he's identified with it, the, to some extent in New York, and he's been positive on gun control and, and climate control and, and other things like that to benefit all of us. It's so interesting because I think that Bob originally, Bob historically is a Democrat. Yep. However, he has become, I mean, he's... he's uh, president Trump has sort of welcomed him into the White House. He spent time with He's the worked president. worked on him closely with some initiatives right. that he thought were very important for the African-American community. community. He said President Trump welcomed him in, right. got to work on some of those issues, and that's why he's uh, become a supporter. So the question is, but that, that's what I, I wish I, I wish we had him right here, because I want to know if, if he is ultimately supporting President Trump or if he was suggesting that he might, uh, you know, support uh, Michael Bloomberg or somebody else. Otherwise, yeah, he's, unclear. He, maybe we'll get him in to talk about that at some point soon. Right.